Okay, so for this problem here, we're going to have to do some estimating parameters to test for a Poisson and a binomial, and then do some a chi-squared goodness of fit. So we know that storms in the city are believed to follow a Poisson distribution. Do we know the mean or standard deviation, or the variance? Test this claim at the 5% level. So here's our storms and our frequencies. Okay, and so what is missing? Well, we do not know the mean or the variance which are the same for Poisson. We don't know what this value is. So we have to go and find it. So we have all these values. We have to find what is the expected value going to be. And so if we take this, I've already put it into my calculator to find the expected value. If I go to statistics, I'm going to calculate one variable statistics. L1 is my number of storms and L2 is my frequency list. And I'm going to calculate it. And my expected number of storms, my mean, is 2.28. That's how many I expect each time, each, uh, each year, to have 2.28 storms per year. And so lambda is equal to 2.28. And so based upon that, I want to know, does this frequency fit a Poisson distribution? And so my a hypothesis is going to be these. Because it's a goodness of fit test, null hypothesis does it fit. The number of storms fits a Poisson distribution of 2.28 per year, and the alternative, it does not fit this Poisson distribution. And so I need to calculate the probabilities of getting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on for a Poisson. These are going to be the probabilities here. So going to my calculator, lots of use of my calculator on this scenario. I'm going to go to L3, and I'm going to do the probability distribution. I want the, it's a Poisson distribution. My mean is 2.28, and my L, my X values are going to be from L1. I'm going to paste them in, hit enter. So just keeping track of my, this is L1, this is L2, and this is L3. And now I'd be careful with this one because right now it's just equal to 5. So I'm going to go to the fifth category and change this one to 1 minus the probability. Oh, let me try that again. So go back to it. Back to the fifth one. And it's going to be 1 minus the probability, which is in the distributions, of a Poisson CDF. And I'm going to do a Poisson CDF 0.28, and I'm going to go up to and including 4. I'm going to, 1 minus all of 4 will give me 5 and bigger. So this one's going to be 4. Enter that in, and so there's the actual probability. And so I will just drag this over here for a moment. So this is going to be the probability as such. I'm not going to write them in because that's just killing time. So here are my probabilities. Okay, so now I need to find my expected values. Well, I have to know how many storms I have for the cities overall. And so I want to add up L2. So one of the things I can do is if I go to second list, and I'm going to go to math, I'm going to sum up L2, which are all my num total number of storms. So there are 50 storms this year. And so I have 50 storms. So I'm going to take these probabilities and I'm going to multiply them times 50. So again, I'm going to go to my stat, I'm going to edit it, I'm going to go to L4, clear what's there, and I'm going to add on top 50 times, oh, I'm going to go 50 times L3. And here are my values, and if I look at it, one of the things I notice is that my fifth cell is less than five. So I have to reconfigure this scenario. I do not want to have five. I'm going to make this bigger than or equal to four. And now I'm going to have eight in this category. So my expected values must be larger than five. So I'm going to adapt my table, delete the five, delete the two, add it on to category four. Working on my probabilities, 
I know now this one I have to delete and this one I have to adjust to bigger than or equal to 4. So I'm going to go 1 minus distribution, my probability of Poisson, it's cumulative. I'm going to go up to and including 3, 3, enter that in. So now here is my probability. I'm going to change this over to this. I'm going to uh, delete these, go back to the top and go 50 times L3. Oh, what did I do this time? So let me go up on top of here and try it again. So 50 times L3. And I get all these expected values. And so I can see my first getting zero storms is over five. So this is sufficient. And so now I can see that all my values I'm looking for are here. I have L3, L4. This is my probability. And this is my expected value here. So I've got probability expected. Because I know for chi-square goodness of fit, all of these cells must be larger than 5. So now I have to state the degrees of freedom, but we have to be careful. There's a difference here. In the past, I would take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 categories. The degrees of freedom would be the number of categories minus 1. But I also now have to subtract because this lambda 2.28 is an estimate, I have to subtract the number of estimated values. So in this case, it's going to be degrees of freedom will be uh, four, five categories, one, two, three, four, five categories, minus one, and then my, uh, the number of estimated values, I've estimated one value, 2.28, so minus one. So five minus one minus one will give me degrees of freedom of three. And so now finally, I'm going to state the p-value and my conclusion. Using my chi-square goodness of fit, I have this null hypothesis. And so if I go to my goodness of fit, I'm going to go to my, my tests for goodness of fit. I know my observed. My observed was in L2, because this was my frequency, L2. And my expected is in L4, which is, as I have in my degrees of freedom, is already 3. And I'm going to calculate it out. Oh, I was already there. Try it again. And so my chi-squared value is equal to 3.22. My p-value is equal to 0 0.35, oh, sorry, 360, 360. And so now my conclusion, if I put this all together, what I can say, because my p-value is large, larger than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis and claim insufficient evidence to say the storms do not fit a Poisson distribution of 2.28. Hence, we believe storms do follow this Poisson distribution. Lots of calculator work. Uh, making sure you understand what the values are and what you're doing is really important.